Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Why am I so happy? Um, I have been doing a sumo competition with my robotics classes for the last four years, and we've always operated with one sumo board. And I don't know, honestly, how I've survived so long with just one board. Um, I guess some of you might be experiencing here in California, just this boom of houses and people. Our school has gone from I believe maybe 900 to possibly now close to 1200. So we're just experiencing large volumes of students in our classes now. So as my classes get bigger, I went into the problem of having enough boards for everybody. So I went out and it's a really cool process. I thought it was going to be, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't, I've never made the actual sumo board. I actually had somebody donate this board to me. Um, but I thought, the process was going to just be unpredictable. I didn't know how long it took. Um, but going through the process, it was an awesome experience. And let me go ahead and show you the sumo boards. Okay, you're looking at the original sumo board that I used to have. This is the one that's been with me for four years now. Um, and you can see it's been it's been through the ringer here. That piece of the uh, border taken out. Um, and this is actually not the official size. The official size of a sumo board is 36 inches in diameter. This is actually 44. So this is actually not official and it's it's kind of big. And it, it results in a lot of ties when we do sumo competitions. So let me walk you over to now my new boards. I actually have three now plus a little mini practice board. Um, so here's the process, and it, it was pretty cool. I went to Home Depot, and I found the, the sheet of plywood that I needed. This It was actually 4 by 8 and I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to fit this into my car. So I actually had the guy at Home Depot, and they're so nice if you ask them. I asked them, I said, uh, since the official sumo board size is 36 inches, I said, hey, why can't you just cut me? Uh, a couple of three by three um, basic uh, boxes or squares. So he was so nice to do that. So I was able to actually then get two sumo boards. So 36 uh, inch diameter. And then I actually had wood left over for a little mini board. So now my students can practice on this one and then join us on these ones um, when they're ready to compete. And the nice thing about this is now, you know, I have a class of 40 students. It was just getting crazy having to have them all, you know, crowd around uh, one board. Now I can now split this up where, you know, I might have 10 students on a board. And, you know, some are, they, they're building their robots still. Some of them want to modify their robots. So I think today I might have had maybe six students per board, which is fine, or maybe eight, because you know they're in teams. So let me go ahead and go to the video of how it looked this morning. 